<laughs> My husband's gonna give me a big. My connection is going slowly to get us on here, but we're live. Hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> I decided to do something a little different for us today. We decided to have our sewing bee kind of as a surprise for everybody. Going slowly to get us on here. Hey, Switching over to live chat. I hope everybody had a good Christmas. And today my guests are my favorite peoples, Sylvia from You and Me FPP and Colleen hey. from Colleen Sews and Chats. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. I can't hear Colleen. I can't see Colleen. You can't see me? Okay. No, I can, I can see you on. See you. I can't yes, hear you. You can't hear okay. me now. Did I? Oh. Did I Nope, you're there. Nope. Okay, yeah. says I'm here. I hear you. Yay. Hello and welcome to the plane crash. <laughs> <laughs> and let me, I gotta let Tracy know because she has too many of us to keep track of. Okay, so did you both have a good Christmas? I had a very good Christmas, thank you. Yes, me too, yes. thank you. Good, was Santa Claus good to you? I don't know yet. Oh, we haven't had Santa Claus yet, I see. <laughs> Actually, I do know, I bought my own presents, I just forgot what I got. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful being old. <laughs> and, uh, look, I got a, oh, it's upside down for you, but it's a Christmas tree on me watch. Oh, oh awesome. Pretty. So you can't wear a watch, I kill them. Something about Sorry? the electrical charge in my system. Oh, right, yeah. It's the evil woman part of me. And I got a TV for my sewing room. And Wayne put it up for me yesterday. So I got to go in there and sit and watch Call the Midwife while I sewed yesterday. I went one in the back room. What yeah. happened to Roku for it? Well, I kind of picked my own. It was like clearance to Walmart for 88 bucks but I thought that was a really good price oh yeah I've been looking 24 inch I sent Colleen a picture of it mm -hmm. it fits perfectly in the little space I had left so very nice size yes perfect so what <laughs> number one well, well, oh last a little bit yeah Are you there? A picture of it. It's not me, it's you. We lost you when you started to explain. It is me. Yeah. When I started to explain what? I don't know, whatever you just said, we didn't hear. Oh, I was saying that I liked Sylvia's outfit. Oh. oh. I like her little, I guess it's a sweater, right? Yeah. With a hood? With a, with a hood on, yeah. But the hood's a bit big, so it just flops down over my head. What a bubble. <laughs> I had a hat that was doing that. It goes all over your face. And I told my husband, this wasn't really a hat when I made it. It was a baby cocoon. <laughs> Hello, Tracy. That was too funny. Sylvia's already got me laughing. We haven't been started five minutes. Oh, Sylvia. Hello, Tracy. Hey, Tracy, Tracy, Tracy. Hello, That's Tracy. Hello. Look at my look at my jumper. Look. It's got a hood, but it's a bit big, so it goes down. Uh, <laughs> Isn't that adorable? <laughs> she is the world's best cheerleaders. Boom. And I, I imitated someone. I imitated you guys. If you saw my short, you know. Yeah. Mom and Pop made a bunch of these for a short or a video the other day. And I saw it and I went, I want to make that. So I did. <laughs> and I like it. It's very pretty. And Colleen, are you sewing anything today or are you just chit-chatting with us? Oh, I might wind up quilting on this some more. Now, I'm sure this thread is working. Are you still working on heavy quilt? No, it was finished. 
if I try to take it from him, I'll get bit. <laughs> so what quilt are you working on? <laughs> the three yard quilt. I'm trying to strain to see over the edge of your <laughs> Gaming in games. You know, you've been doing it too long when you're doing this around your monitor. <laughs> you see the guys behind the trees. <laughs> you're very welcome, Jason. Oh, yeah. The, the, I uh, almost pulled out the chicken salad quilt because I've got to quilt it too. It's at the same point here. It's like, if you don't do it, you're never going to finish it. And I got to finish it before January 1st. Yeah. Well, you know, when you're quilting your own quilts on smaller machines, mm. it's going to pile up. I can't, I've been, I can't even complain that I'm on a smaller machine. I have a 12-inch throat on both my machines. Nobody I've, been you, block. <laughs> <laughs> I've been making blocks. I've been making blocks. I like that. What is that one called, Pretty. Sylvia? It's from it's from the um, Bonnie Hunter uh, mystery quilt, and this is part five. Um, I, I cut all my stuff out for part four yesterday, and then found out that um, I've only cut half of them. I need to do the <laughs> extra lot again. <clears throat> Hi, Kelly. Um, is that the Calhio quilt? Uh, is it Chilawi or something like that? It's I don't know how to say it. Every time I see it, I go, how do you say that? Yeah, I think it's something like Chilawi or something like that. Yeah, I don't know how you say it. I'm just. If anybody out there knows a... how to say it, please tell us either in the comments or the chat, because I don't know either. And despite all my precautions, I miss Hello, Kelly. Kelly. Hello, Happy Kelly. Happy Boxing Day. Happy, Happy Boxing, Boxing Day. day. Why is it okay. called that? That's what it I was going to say. Called, so it, is, it is called Boxing Day. I found this out yesterday um, on a quiz show because um, it's a, traditionally when the owners of firms gave their workers gifts. Okay. I was thinking okay. something way more sinister than that. <laughs> Being from I was the about, South, I was like, I thought okay. it was boxing. Yeah. But, um, that's apparently why it's called Boxing Day. Well, because on Christmas Day, everybody gets gifts, and on Boxing Day, we all fight about it, right? Yeah, but apparently it's because the bosses used to give all their workers gifts on Boxing Day, hmm. which I discovered yesterday. Interesting. I was going to get that link, but I'm going to say Chilhowie. It sounds so big guy. How are you today? Hi, big guy. Hello, big guy. That's gonna sound weird. I <laughs> know it does sound weird. <laughs> hey, big guy. I'm not saying it like that. Sorry. My husband's sitting over there going, What? I know my husband's gonna do the same thing when he comes in here in a second. He's like, What are you talking about? Mm. I hang out with questionable people. Mm. Eh, only on days that end in why. <laughs> and he still loves me what's that say about him <laughs> uh, we loved him we just got to pick on him so I've got all in. My, okay i got all my bits in for found the pattern Chilui. oh what are you using for a catcher there is it a tupperware bowl or a plastic it's a, bowl it's a chocolate sweetie oh i like that box Cabri's Heroes. Not that I'm advertising. Yeah. The same mm. thing, Kelly. Landowners are bosses. Yeah. Hello, Mona. How are you today? Hope you had a Merry Christmas. Hey, hey, Mona did what? Hello, Mona. You did what? <laughs> Sylvia sounded more American there than either one of us. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I can't do a British accent, but she can do an American one. I can't either. I probably sound like the lowest class British person. Because I know the accents had something to do with where they came from. I always, I always think it's hilarious when mom and, from mom and pop tries to do a British accent. I love it when she does the uh, Scottish ones. Because that yeah. almost rolls right off her tongue. It's like, what? 
Mona got braces at 60, big guy. And then she decided to start a YouTube channel too. <laughs> so that's what Mona did. Now that's the word we were discussing pronunciation of the chill howie. I don't know. Mystery club. Yeah, it's it. chill howie, like Howie Mandel. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was mm. thinking, chill howie. Mm. Does it sound like a Native American word? It does to me. It might be a Native American word. Yeah, because isn't she from, mm -mm, I want to say Tennessee, but I don't know. Bonnie Hunter. I don't know. There's a lot of us who are. Town in Virginia. From the Appalachians who are Native American, at least blended. Mm. And it's very possible. It's well, you know, when you get up there in the in the hills oh. <laughs> and it's cold. <laughs> very much to do in the wintertime. <laughs> okay, I Googled and it says a Cherokee word meaning valley of many deer was adopted as the town's name when the town incorporated in 1913. Town wow. of Tukawi. Does it give a pronunciation? Hmm? Did it tell you how to pronounce it? Oh, thank you, Kelly. That was nice of you. Like we were saying, chill, how, e. That's right. Chill, how, e. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. It's got and some really good music on there, really Kelly. Okay. When he first started coming in, I was like, what's this dude doing on a sewing channel? But... He's been coming around for a while. We like him. He seems pretty chill. Guess who, Nancy? Hi, hi. Hi, Nancy. How are you and hubby? Oh. <laughs> you were a tomboy? Oh, wow. I can see that, though. I can see that about you, Mona. I didn't look like a tomboy, but I was a tomboy. Try to make me bake or sew anything, I would... Go find a football and hit you in the head with it. <laughs> I didn't mind learning how to cook and bake and sew, but I wanted to be able to do whatever it was I wanted to do. Let me go outside and play if I want to. Yeah. Mm. I knew how to bake. I've always known how to bake, but didn't want to cook or sew. And I didn't know until my late 20s, baking and cooking is not the same thing. No, they're not. No. <laughs> they definitely aren't. No, they're definitely not. <laughs> Cooking, you can kind of do it with the spirit of your ancestors, play it by ear. Baking, you better be paying real close attention. Baking is more like science. I think that's why I like it. It's more exact amounts. Yeah. Don't guess. I don't Hello, do Patty. Either. Nancy is snowed in. And Kelly says, my city name is derived from a local First Nations name in a similar way. That is very cool. When you yeah. got married, all you could make was French toast. Hey, Patty. Hi, Patty. It's better than baking. I don't do any. I don't do cooking or baking. How do you get by? Yeah. The hobby does it. <laughs> <laughs> my husband's doing most been doing most of the cooking the last few years when i get in there it's usually the big project stuff when we're going to can or make something major we mm. share all the chores pretty much except for cleaning the bathroom does That's he do all of that hmm? does he clean the bathrooms no <laughs> so it's cool and i don't know of course i can't otherwise i would but <laughs> I usually clean the bathrooms. Even if I do nothing else, that one drives me crazy. Yeah. I need to be cleaned right now. I've been sick for a week. I'm like, I'm doing it. I just ain't doing it. Besides that, people around here complain about the smell of the Clorox or whatever I use. I, I could use roses and somebody would be unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we got a nice surprise yesterday. 
well, the day before, actually. Um, apparently, all the girl children got together and decided that everybody's going to meet up at the daughter's house in Port St. Lucie, which is about 40 miles from us. But since we didn't know ahead of time, Wayne couldn't get time off work. He's the only man standing this week. Everybody else is gone. So all the girls and all the grandkids are in Port St. Lucie this weekend. We're not going to be able to be there because, of course, he can't get to work. So Aww. hopefully they're going to make a, they're going to descend upon us tomorrow with all the grandkids so we <laughs> at least get to see them. So I'm looking forward to that. Sounds very ominous. And they'll be, unpack <laughs> they'll be unpacking well, all the boxes that you've just packed. I'm not unpacking Ooh, anything. But yeah, we've been packing. Wayne be has been packing. Ooh, like more crazy. presents I've than been, Grandma. Um, Let's unpack this. <laughs> all the presents. They're huge. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, they might think that. They Maybe can drag them with us. You and all of them. <laughs> Even the daughter from Michigan is down. Maybe we should have her take some of our stuff back up with her. There you go. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. How are you? Oh, you're just doing your family gathering tomorrow? That's awesome. Well, we went to the daughters yesterday with the grandchildren, and we spent quite a long time there. We didn't get home until about 8 o'clock last night. But then New Year's Day, we're all descending on the older daughters. So we'll all be the, at the older daughters on uh, New Year's Day. So. so will you all stay at the older daughters overnight? No, no, they're only, they're only 35 minutes drive away. Oh, OK. So that's not yeah. bad. Yeah. Yeah. But the dogs will be there as well. So the dog went yesterday and with us. Um, and fell asleep under the table while everybody was eating. Whose so. dog was that eating the cabbage like it was crazy? <laughs> it was just a, a, a gift. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I was like, why is that dog so crazy over cabbage? <laughs> just a gift. <laughs> it was just, yeah. Two yeah. Pandora charms and a seam roller. What kind of seam roller? <laughs> Better be a special seam roller. I got a boutique bundle from Walmart. At least that's what they called it. Let's see. I like boutique. It says on the tag. BBTK is on my stamp for boutique. Made in India. And I was just sitting there. I think there that's where most boutiques are made, aren't they? But yes. <laughs> but this one has a definite, I don't know if you'll be able to see, definite right and wrong side. This side is very yeah. faded. It's normally, normally boutique. Don't have a right and wrong, do they? Yeah, don't well, yeah. you can't tell. Exactly. Well, I guess well, that's you could use either it. one. Mm. Yeah, boutiques are very, there is a right side and a wrong side from what I've heard, but nobody's going to notice it. This one, you would you would definitely notice it. That's why I got it. I wanted mm. to see how it was different. Mm. And it's still usable. I mean, it's, not, it's not really thin or anything. I just have to be aware. I'm of staring it. off to this side because that's where my computer is. And I'm looking at that fabric going, that would be its own complementary fabric. Mm. Like if you made a block half of one side and half of the other, you'd have the exact same shade and it would complement itself. Yeah. Yeah. I see what you're saying. That's cool. It was, I don't remember. It was like $7 for a little bundle. How many is in here? Gotta go okay. turn all this back. I picked up some fat, fat quarters on um, Friday. Um, she was selling them off at half price, and that's one of them. She's quite, Ooh, quite, pretty. Like quite pretty. Um, it's just going in my blocks. Was that from a it. local quilt shop? Yeah, for, she's only got. She's only. It's only a really tiny um, quilt shop. So it's, it looks really pretty in that. Yeah, and out of it, I'm just saying, you know. Yeah, it looks great. Where's my husband? I'm used to people judging me when I talk. <laughs> I had a great Christmas day, Lynn. And I'll have an even better day tomorrow because I'm going to get to see all the 
well, almost all the grandkids. We won't get to see the two, my youngest son's two boys. They're not able to travel right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do love those blocks. That's part of that, the debate Chilawi. pronunciation. Chill Hallie yeah. quilt that yeah. Sylvia's working on. Yeah. And Mona, did you get to see Sylvia's little outfit? She's Santa Claus. She has a hat and everything. Creeper Santa Claus it goes over the face. <laughs> it's it's the anonymous version. <laughs> Santa Claus is in witness protection. <laughs> We're terrible. So, oh, that's always nice. Nice family dinners. Yeah, I don't know if Sylvia picked that out or if it was a Christmas gift. Um, no, I've had it for a long time. Oh, awesome. Yep. I've got one that's um, a white one with a, a big red scarf around it for a snowman with big black buttons down the front. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, Kelly, we try to get her to do more lives because she is hilarious. <clears throat> we need to get on earlier because it's late there. Yeah, it is late for Sylvia. It's like six or seven o'clock already. And so she's <laughs> already nodding. <laughs> oh, is that a new panel? That's pretty. <clears throat> Missouri Star had it on sale. That's what my Christmas came from. Missouri Star sales and Stephanie Stitches. <laughs> <laughs> Does Missouri Star oh. count as a local small business? It counts as local for me. I was going to say it's local. It's not small. But it business, wasn't my right? small business. It wasn't my small business shop. This was just I saw the sale and ordered stuff. Sometimes that's what you do. Oh, I hope so, Nancy. That would be awesome. Eleven ten a.m. for Kelly, and it's like getting late in the evening for Sylvia. So yes. this is what I worked I on, and I've got another one cut. I was. If we got to the point where we could actually sew instead of talk, I was going to work on sewing. I'm so but I know us. Remind myself what I bought. I really do. I forget. Uh, showing fabric is always a bonus. We're good with that. Yeah, that was that was one of the others that came in. Is that a really pale blue? Really Hello, pale Patty. Blue. How are you? It's got carrots on it. Cute. It looks okay. like it looks like, looks like it's got carrots on. The second you're going to see our nose hairs because we're going to get really close to those cameras. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're both going. What I see. <laughs> I found spring gnomes. That's see the carrots. Cool. Oh, now I see the carrots, Sylvia. Yeah, that's cute. I like it. Oh yeah. Nancy, you say that like you're in a foreign country. Kentucky's not that foreign. <laughs> I saw yo, Patty G. Yo, Patty. Yo, Adrian. What's up? I'm trying to make my husband twitch. And this is this is one of them that came in my gift in my Christmas. Oh, I so, like. Oh, I daughter. like that. That's pretty. Yes, Tracy. That's my version of the runner. Love those colors. Yeah, and I like the numbers. I. Um, I guess the gnomes must be growing on me because when they first came out, I was like, eh, gnomes. They're so cute. Ooh, cute. Is that a book? Or just another panel? Panel. Oh, cute. Gnome garden. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, that well, looks I like dandelions, Sylvia. Yeah. yeah, they do, yeah. That's cute. I like it. Ooh. Uh, yo, Patty, already got your Christmas down. But did you have to take down your sewing machines in order to put Christmas up? If you did, I see why you've already got your Christmas down. I didn't put any up, so mine was real easy. I put one tree up. I didn't even do that. Well, that was nice. Are you going to um, Stephanie's retreat, Patty? Patty C. 
Usually somebody signs these. Yeah. Nobody signed it. They must have been really busy for Christmas then. I feel so unloved. Oh, skiers. I like. Oh, and this is the panel, the Gnomester Mash that I got. They had these on sale. The charm pack to go with it. Cool. For next year. Sylvia, is no. what you're pick, pulling up a specific pattern line or fabric line? Sorry, say that again. Is the, are the fabrics that you're showing all from a specific fabric line? No, they're all different. The reason I'm asking is um, Tracy Albert gifted me a layer cake of a fabric that I, a line that I really like or a grouping. It's not a line, I guess, but it's a lot of very similar fabrics to what you're showing there. Mm -hmm. I'd already had one and made a quilt out of it, but I had it listed that I wanted another because I really liked the fabric. And she picked it out from my Amazon list and gave it to me for Christmas. Thank you, Tracy. The, the music doesn't have anything on the salvage. It, it's not a big deal. I just wondered if maybe it was, it was uh, a specific line that I didn't know about. The dandelion is a moda. Lynn, I think in girl. Hmm? The dandelion is a moda. Yeah, that looks moda. like a moda. Yeah, it's a moda. Um, can't see a name on it though, just a number. It's okay. Mm. It was just curiosity because that's how I is. Yeah. And I don't think there's any, there's nothing on the skiers either. Lynn, you can't keep us in suspense. Fine, tell, tell, tell. And congratulations on the grandbaby. I, you picked perfectly, Tracy. I really liked it. Thank you. This is a cute planner while we're waiting for Lynn to dish. Hi, Mona. Have a great day. I like that. See you later. It has... Okay. Some places to write but it also has this quilt information or quilts finished which is really cute my, my grandson had a great um christmas present yesterday it's um it's a a, a notebook but when you open it it's there's a special pen that you write on it and once you've written on your notebook you can then take a photo of what you've written and it will save it to your Word document and then you wipe the page clean. Oh, and you can write, oh write awesome. That would be handy. <laughs> Welcome back, big guy. Have a great day, Mona. Um, Patty, the moving process has stalled again, um, but I think we finally got it ironed out with our buyer today. Patty DCP wants to know if it's wrong that she wants to kidnap Colleen and take her with you. Well, of course it's <laughs> not wrong. Yes, she's having a girl. Yay, Lynn. Congratulations. I don't know why Nightbot yeah. held that. I Maybe. I don't know why Nightbot held that. That's a good question. Was it Nightbot or was it YouTube? It might have been YouTube. Very different. Because it had the word kidnap in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, so yeah. Not allowed to talk an actual about thread. Mm. I'm going to be right back. I'm missing a box that I thought I had over here. Okay. Baby girls yeah. are fun to sew for. Baby boys are too, but baby girls, you can get all ruffly and pink and fluffy. Yay, Lynn. Awesome. But uh, anyway, Patty, we have we had picked out a house. It didn't happen because we didn't get our uh, finance letter from the buyer. He's doing it through a lender. He didn't give us the proof of financing fast enough so we didn't get the house we wanted. Now we have a timeline ironed out and I know when I can start shopping. So I'm gonna take a break for a couple of weeks from the idea of looking and just chill. Mm. 
Although I'm still drooling over houses regularly with Sylvia. She <laughs> sent me one this morning that I've been drooling over all day. <laughs> there you go, Lynn. That'll be so much fun. And I want to know what's in the box Colleen went and grabbed. Oh, stop. I do remember what's in this box. But I did it. I, I get things and I don't open them until Christmas. Yes, healthy babies are what's important. This is what I wanted to see. I have a hard time believing this is cuddle. Oh, hey. oh cuddle. Mm. I've been entering that drawing too. Oh, at um, Shannon Fabrics? At Shannon, yeah, I couldn't remember where it was at, but every day when I get up, I've got like four emails saved at the very top. And I go in each one and enter. And they're all emails that Colleen sent me for contests and such. Maybe I'll win a baby lot zest, which I don't know what I'd do with it. You can mail it to Colleen. Purple cuddle. Oh. That oh. is. I like. That Halloween quilt. I like. Um, you don't have to tell me on the live, but how much a yard is the purple cuddle? I'm gonna have to look it up. Oh, <laughs> oh that was not funny. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's purple. Purple block. <laughs> Colleen, what's that block behind you? That? Yeah. That yeah. is from Courtney, Pieces of Love and Quilting, her patriotic. Placemats. That is Big Guy's channel. Let's do it again. Oh, it is soft. I'm really afraid to take this one out after the mess I just made. <laughs> the reason I'm asking is because I just looked at um, bathrobes. Ooh. <clears throat> is that leather or is that a cuddle also? It's cuddle. That I is had no idea great. how it's going to be. It's sparkle cuddle. From Fat Quarter Shop is where I got this one. They it may have it. So is it glitter? It's not coming off. Yes. I may have to look at that. And like the purple that's all over me. <laughs> and like the purple that's all over Yeah. I'm not going to be oh. jerking this one out and loving it. Tell you that. Oh, nice. I like that. That is very, it looks silver. I guess it looks silver in there too. Yeah, it does. It looks really yeah. super shiny. That I was excited about. I knew you guys would appreciate me opening it a whole lot more than the guys in the house. <laughs> and Patty, I need to put him in the bot. So that's good that I've now got his link saved on my computer so I can add him in there. We were actually talking about it a couple days ago. I just can't do it while I'm live, I don't think. Ooh, purple, yes. I was looking at um, bathrobes and to get plus size bathrobes in nice colors is super expensive Cuddle. if you can get them at all. Cuddle would make a very warm bathrobe. Mm. Well, I'm moving to Ohio. I might want a very warm bathroom. Exactly. So, yeah. But is it worth the hassle to sew a bathrobe out of that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it might be coffee time. I just kept the vacuum next to me. I actually have it all recorded. I just did not feel like loading it. I kept the vacuum next to me the whole time. That way, nothing got away from me. Yeah. Did you get your quilts done, Colleen? The ones you were doing for Christmas? The one I was doing for my husband. It's one quilt. It's got that blue on the front and then the minky on the back. Yay, yeah. big guy. You're at 900. That's awesome. Congrats. Lynn, big guy does not right. do crafts. Big guy um, puts up Music. videos of old 45 records which is where the 45 comes from he plays them so you get to hear them like we all heard them when we were younger 
was going to say little, but when, how we all heard them when we were younger with the full record player experience. Yes, it would be worth it, Sylvia. <sighs> the kettle threw up on me. I'm thinking if I made a great big one of these, I could turn it into a hug like Sylvia made. And it would yeah. give me that for a or it Ooh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Wouldn't that be cute with a, a zipper? Hug? Oh, lace or cuddle either one on the back of a hug would be so. Yeah. Mm. Yep, yep, yep. Mm. That's not a bad price. It's probably why I got it. Lynn, I think it's hashtag big guy. Exclamation. Not, not, yeah, not in the bot yet. Okay, not, not in the bot, bot yet. yet, but here. This is the link for him. It, yes, Patty, I think it would be. That's how come I started watching his channel. Oh, I thought I'd frozen again. <laughs> I think I'm about 23 away from 500. Oh, you're so close. Guys, I am so happy for all of you. Let me tell you what. Oh. Colleen is at, what are you today, 524? Last I checked, unless somebody bailed on me. So 524, 478. I'm at 1470-something. I didn't look right before I came on. But all everybody's growing just super fast, mm -hmm. and I'm happy about that. There we are. Kelly yeah. in there. I dropped the link for the purple kettle and because I don't think it matters if I say how much it was. It's 1348 a yard and it's oh. 60 inches. It's not you know regular, it's 60 inch. Oh kettle comes in 60 and 90 inches. And this particular one is let me yeah, 60 inches. So that might actually be cheaper than buying a robe. And, and the I black literally, literally literally literally. Huh? I was trying to say the black, literally, why can't I say that word? Literally. 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 It's not a hard word to say. No. <laughs> I can't say stereo. Um, oh, they're sold out of the black sparkle. Oh. Put on their black sparkle for a robe, maybe may a little overkill. Very flamboyant. Well, I don't mind flamboyant. It was $14.98. The purple was thirteen forty eight, and the black was fourteen ninety eight. I don't know if they've got either one of those colors at Missouri Star. It's probably a little bit higher if they do. Fat quarter shop. May have to actually you. shop that quarter shop for something. They need to send me a thank you note. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was asking Wayne the other day, I was like, you know, because we know we're going to have to have robes and heavier pajamas when we move north. So I was asking him which he preferred for robes, and he likes ankle length. I'm kind of like, you know, mid-calf is perfect for me. Welcome back, mm. Tracy. Welcome back, Tracy. I like ankle length, too. So for I, I like um, to wear my big warm robe over all my clothes. Yeah, I'm a mid leg. I'm a mid calf, the same as you. Yeah, well, yeah. the thing is for me is that as I get older, it's easier for me to trip. So I kind of yeah. like a little bit of distance from the floor so I don't end up tripping over the bottom of it. Yeah, and as I've shrunk, I've got wider. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I understand that concept. That's how that happened to me. I lost height. Found it. Yep. That's it. Okay. So are you guys starting to get the funky comments now? <laughs> I so haven't you're... gotten the, the nasty ones like you. I just get random comments. They're very random. They're not targeted. I can tell. I'm thinking yeah. that as I grow, people are just getting meaner. I'm like, wow. That's what I'm thinking too. And if that keeps up, I'll... I can't imagine what that. the big YouTubers do about it. Because I got one the other day that was like, your videos are amateur. And I was like, 
yeah, well, I never claimed to be a pro. <laughs> Somebody put on my video, we don't care. And I'm like, thank you. Why watch? Yeah, okay. What? Why are you watching my videos if you I, don't I care? Think it's easy enough. Move on. There's just got Big guy, you can monetize without watch hours, but you have to do it with shorts. You might. I'm going to give you the same advice I gave Colleen and Sylvia. How's that? Start doing some shorts. Maybe take a few seconds of um, the records that you're playing and put them up as a 10 or 15 second short. And say to hear the rest of the song, come see me on X channel. Oh, well, if you've got the watch hours, you go, boy. Yeah. I was just thinking that might bring you subscribers, too, because that's helped me. Speaking of shorts, anybody see the netting short I put up earlier? Probably not. And that's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't go to see it. YouTube sent me a thing saying that it was restricted viewing for 18 and over. Okay. I had to go that. watch it because I was like, what did you do pornographic in it? And so I clicked on the appeal. You can't appeal this. You can't appeal it. You won't tell me what's wrong in it. <laughs> and then I changed the name of it and I did it again. And an hour later, they gave me the same warning. I don't have any strikes, nothing against me. And at the end it said, was this email helpful? I put no. <laughs> and they asked why I was like, tell me why and knitting. <laughs> once, you, once you hit a thousand, you have access to more support from mm -hmm. YouTube than you do before. It was crazy. <laughs> Patty. I thought about putting it up with the title, what did I do wrong? <laughs> <clears throat> did you see that yeah it's literally just her hands you can't yeah. see anything there's no there's no music there's no talking there's some clicking from the needles absolutely absurd. maybe rename it asmr knitting or something well i took it down and i put it back up with a different name and it hasn't dinged me yet for it and how ridiculous YouTube has no rhyme, reason, or logic, guys. At all. Next you time I do, I'm going to give them Patty's number, though. You're going to give them Patty's number? What for? <laughs> Had I been able to find a number, mm. I would have. Patty's trying to make me laugh so hard I can't breathe again. That's easy. You just mentioned two words. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> don't say it. Don't say it. My husband even got in on it. <laughs> Did you guys? <laughs> Good one, Wayne. <laughs> He's a brat. <laughs> He's a brat. He's a brat. No, my favorite, my favorite nasty comment we got. I'm, I'm still kind of laughing at it going, okay, apparently, well, maybe the commenter wasn't intended to be nasty. All my comments are held for review. And this commenter said, did you know that someone is spreading a rumor that the reason that you're moving to Ohio is because your house is being foreclosed on? And I went, really? Hard to foreclose on a house that doesn't have a mortgage. So, yeah, whoever's starting that rumor out there, I'm so glad you're paying so much attention to me. Y'all have fun. I was going to say, thank you for paying yeah. attention, Melissa. And, not me. and leaving somebody else alone, right? <laughs> Whatever. That's ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, having music is fine. How ignorant do you have to be? Um, Kelly, if you 
send them a uh, dispute on that with a copy of your license, you can do it. You can still use it and there won't be your copyright restriction. Most of them just have like a number uh, for your license and you say what, what um, service it's through and what the license number is and they'll, they'll remove the copyright restriction. I haven't had any copyright. All the stuff I put up, I've never gotten a copyright thing. The only thing I've ever gotten was that today about knitting. Well, if you're using YouTube music, it won't be a copyright violation, but you won't be able to monetize it when you hit a thousand. Right. Mm. So Kelly, it's worth it to tell them that you do have permission to use that music because when you hit a thousand, if you haven't already, um, Jesus, you won't be able to monetize the video with that claim on it. Yeah, Colleen's getting close. Sylvia's going to hit 500 in a day or two. So everybody's working hard. And I tried to do this on my live. It wouldn't have worked. Are you trying to, are you free motion quilting? No, I'm um, serpentine stitch. Huh? I didn't need my walking foot. I had my walking foot on there. It started acting weird, so I took it off. I have something here to sew. I just haven't gotten over there to sew. No, I can't be bothered to sew. It's too late. It's, it's late for you, though, Sophia. Yeah. Yeah, actually, the, the subscription service that we have, Kelly, is who gave us the instructions. I haven't picked the one that made I did wrong, and I've got it ready to sew again tomorrow. So I have done something. <laughs> I've yeah. done nothing but sit here and talk. Where's my, but yes, Tracy, I agree. Some people just have nothing better to do with their lives or their time. They really don't. And I'm just like, you know. Oh, you can't see the bobbles, I don't think. Can you see the bobbles? There's little bobbles on it. There they are. Oh, are yeah. you gonna show how to knit? <laughs> I wondered if that was what it, because they're called, what are those bubbles called? Estonian. Yeah, I wonder if it's something to do with that. Estonian buttons is what it was called. Estonian yeah. buttons. Seriously? I'd never seen them before. I didn't know how to do them. And that is the right thing. Anyway, yeah. I think it's going to be too small. It's going to be pretty stretchy, though. I may have to knit another one. I used the biggest size. It said it should fit. No, I did not swatch. No, I did not check the gauge because I don't do that. What are you doing, machine? There's the other reason why I'm not sewing because my machine wants to be a brat. Mine was earlier. I'm stitching. I was going 10 to the dozen, stitching all these seams. And then when I took it out, my needle hadn't threaded. Oh, mine did that plus my... I got all these loops of bobbin underneath and nothing at the top. Ten to a dozen. That's a new saying for me. Hmm? Ten to what a dozen. Is... Yeah. That's an English saying, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Like our 90 to nothing. Yep. Ten to a dozen. I'll have to remember that. Ten to a dozen. Yeah. Because uh, our DNA says that I think we're both enough British Isles, whatever, England. I think we could get over there and they wouldn't say anything. Of course. <laughs> All right, my accent. Well, Sylvia's got bet. a better American accent than I do British, so she can I would pass welcome. here. I'm not sure I could pass over there. You see, I used to have quite a, a strong accent where when I was younger but when we because we moved further north I've lost it but my mum always used to go you don't talk proper anymore are right, Sylvia you don't talk proper <laughs> I know this is this is what the Americans all see um the great British baking show apparently Paul Hollywood is actually from Scotland somewhere mm -hmm. <clears throat> pretty sure that's what I remember 
And there was a girl on there last season or the season before they all run together for me who really had a broke. And when she talked, I would sit there and go, thank God for the closed captions because I didn't understand a word she said. Her accent was so thick. And then I noticed that as the season went on, um, Paul Hollywood, every time he talked to her, his accent got thicker. And I thought, well, I definitely feel for him for that because when I talk to family in Kentucky, mine gets really thick. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. I'm not even going to fight my sewing machine today. It just did something stupid. So I'm going to be ripping out what I just did. <laughs> Tracy says she can pass for Canadian. No, you can't. You probably can. <laughs> and Kelly doesn't want to appeal copyrights all the time. Under Creator Studio, there's music that you can use. And sometimes if you look for copyright free music, you can find some <clears throat> on YouTube, but you still have to watch it too. Yeah. I was yeah. Watching. Well, you probably have more tips on that than I do, big guy. Since music is your thing, maybe you should be telling everybody <laughs> what to do to avoid copyright issues. I'm learning as I go. I was watching a program before I came on, and it was called um, The Great Pottery Throwdown, and there was four celebrities, and they had never done pottery before, and they had to make um, a Christmas scene, and they had to throw a pot, and they'd never done that, uh, throw a pot before on the wheel, um, it was hilar absolutely hilarious. If you, the, and some of the things they made were fantastic. They had one um, with celebrities. I guess they're British celebrities. No, they were American celebrities who I'd never heard of. Uh, the only one I knew of was the one from The Good Place, Darcy, that plays the robot Janet. If anybody watches that, I know who any of the rest of them were. But they came out with stuff that I was like, are you sure they're not professional bakers in real life? Well, hello, Stephanie. How are you today? With Steph hello, Steph Steph in the house. Super Steph. Super Steph. Oh, Super oh. Steph. Oh, that. I'm going to open up more stuff. <laughs> I wasn't feeling good yesterday, Stephanie. I did not open up my order. <laughs> and you'd think I could remember what I ordered since I just ordered it. I can't. Half oh, is this your stuff. order from Super Stuff? Awesome. Yes. She had a sale, I guess, a couple weeks ago. It's going to be noisy. I apologize. I hope that you are resting today, Super Stuff. No doubt. All right. Because she's got a whole weekend in Dahlonega, Georgia coming up. Packaging, child proof. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie, your, your, your packaging is choline proof. That's too funny. I have to get my non fabric scissors. So, chat didn't go crazy. With, what are you using, Colleen? <laughs> Bye, Kelly. You have a great day. Thank you for stopping by. Bye, Kelly. I put a link in for Kelly earlier. Yes, I saw. Stephanie doesn't <laughs> remember what you got either, Colleen. We're all going to be surprised. Well, that must mean that she was busy during this Christmas season. She said she was busy. That's a good thing. I got pretty. You got pretty? That's awesome. I was watching Stephanie's video on making that um, triquilo, the pillow tribe. Looks a bit like a dog bone. It does. We're watching anxiously. Good thing there's a packing slip. I had written no. 
Thank you, Colleen. Merry Christmas, Stephanie. <laughs> That's why we shop small is because we get such nice little notes and personal exactly. service. Yes. Ooh. These that are, is. Oh, this is the 108. That is drool worthy. Moda. Ombre confetti. Lovely. I got a taste like regular or yardage. something like that. Yes, that's what she's talking yeah. about, Stephanie. It is so yeah. soft. Yeah. That is so pretty. Now, if I remember, she has that in a blue colorway also, right? That's what I was going to say. I was thinking about getting them both, and I was like, no, have some self-control. <laughs> Your stove. I can't have it all. It's fabric. You're not supposed to have self-control. <laughs> it is pretty. Yeah, ombre. Now these are the all Lori holes. I'm thinking there were several Lori holes. I can't say. Trying to one. peer over the edge of that camera angle again. Mm. No peeking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think I could do it like this. These are all half guards. There's, it looks like just X's. Oh, X. Mm. Yep, little X's on them. That that is very subtle. Mm. Is this and from normally I am or from, not. Huh? Or from the next one. I like that green. You can tell they're Lori Holt colors. Yeah, I was going to say normally I'm not a lime green, but I thought spring. That is a good color for spring. Well, it's kind of a vintage lime green color, though. It's not neon. Yeah. I like, it, that, I like the teal. I like that teal -y color. Uh -huh. Now, that's mm. the one I love. I love that color. Mm. You can probably tell from my curtains are about that color. Is this oh. one? Oh. Doodle bug design. Yes, definitely. Sleep Lake. I did for sure. I like. So soft. And mine's going to get better. My grandkids are almost all in the state. We're going to get to see them tomorrow. The ones from Michigan came down to Florida for a couple of days. And Stephanie must, well, shop owners in general, they must have the best jobs. <laughs> they need to get all the pretty fabric. Say, oh, look what they got. It's going to go with that. It's not going to go with this. I would judge. I wouldn't want to sell it, though. That's the trouble. I yeah. know. How do you do that? It says swirls. Oh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. Riley Blake. There's actually the packing sheet would say what it is, but falling in love. And here's another. I can't remember if that was a Lori Holt. It's got little flowers on it. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's a Lori Holt either, but it's a good color. Well, it matched that other one, and I thought, well, it's yeah. a little different, and I don't have those colors. I don't have a lot of colors. See? Mm. Teal. We're all drooling over fabric. Oh, that is pretty. Is that purple or pink or kind of in between? It's a, it is a in between. It's kind of. Oh, I like. But, um, yeah, all of us are going, oh, ooh. Stephanie. Cuddle. Oh, yeah, Stephanie, Stephanie check out this cuddle. Sparkle cuddle. Got it from Fat Quarter Shop. I got purple, too, but most of that I'm wearing now. I'm writing this down. The budget may be in trouble. <laughs> yeah, kind of like a mauve, mauve, however you say that. I think I ordered that one, the, oh my goodness, I think it was Black Friday when I ordered the cuddle. I was completely blacked out. And now I've got fabric everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> what a horrible problem to have. <laughs> Well, hello, Don. How are you? Hi, Don. Hey, Don. 
I've been on Don's Discord server causing problems. Is that where you were playing the fishy game? Yes, that's where I got it on our server. I'm hey, waiting I'm for so her to hold it up in front of the camera. Or are you just folding? I'm just folding. That's the pretty one. That was the pretty one. Yeah, you just missed all the fabric that uh, Colleen got herself for Christmas. She'll get to see me fold it because I'm like that. <laughs> I need it folded now. <laughs> OCD. Yes. Yes. I didn't think I was until I started buying fabric and it's now I need it all folded. Well, now she's got to make some more of those baskets to hold her fabrics. Yes, exactly. I have a very long to-do list. Um, is her supply shop not in the... I thought it was in the link for Stephanie. For stuff. Etsy, yeah. Her Etsy is there. Yeah, her Etsy's there. Well, let's see if I can take it out by itself. It yes, that is always awesome when you have the leftovers, Patty. Um, Patty C. Bespoke, where it says Etsy in the link for super. There you go. There. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, they, were, they were a good price when they weren't on sale. I'm just very cheap. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Colin giving, giving her husband the evil eye. <laughs> <laughs> I said I'm very cheap. You're mm -hmm. not dumb, Patty, at all. Finding some of the, I mean, because there's a lot of information in those links sometimes. Yeah. Mm. They're very busy sometimes. As a matter of fact, I need to check and make sure that my bit.ly links still work. Well, I can't blame you there, Super Steph. Closed until you get back from the retreat. That would stink if you had oh home to 150. Well, no, it wouldn't stink, but it would make it very busy for you. When is the retreat over? So we know when to start sending people your way. The first or the second. I imagine she won't, you probably won't be home until the second or third though, right, Stephanie? Because they're having um, a live so along on New Year's Eve is what I understand. Mm -hmm. We had chatted about it, but. I don't know. Who knows? We may still. Depends on how old uh, how old, old ladies feel. And I'm not including Colleen and the old ladies, just me. The pup. second. Gray haired pup. <laughs> the second. Gray hair. <laughs> I bought the cure. <laughs> My husband doesn't like the dyed things, which is just as well because I don't want them. <laughs> I might change my mind someday. I do mind when it starts driving me crazy. Yeah. I Where I'm at right now is all my gray hair is like right here. And then my hair grows, you know, I'm part Neanderthal. So my hair grows down to like right here. So I have to, I don't have a widow's peak. I have a, a Neanderthal line. I'm just going to sit here and do this for us. Rest of the mm -hmm. show, rest of the live. <laughs> Look at the pretty ombre. She's just going to show off fabric for the rest of the live. <laughs> yeah, you can't do it. Well, even Amazon isn't doing two day shipping right now. They say it's two days from when it ships. So basically, they're putting all of the onus off on the shipper, on UPS or FedEx or whoever. But it might take them a week to dig it out of the warehouse. When I know people are busy and Stephanie and Vet would both tell you that I do this, I put in there, it's okay, I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> because I know there are people that order something and then they will start nagging immediately for their order. 
I was in Stephanie's chat the other night with her and Yvette. I think it was Stephanie's. Um, and they were talking about some of the nasty grams they've gotten from people. And I was just like, that's terrible. I can't believe people would be like that. <sighs> that is so pretty, Colton. I picked good. It's only because she had all of them together. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. I'm not good at matching colors and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i saw that she was having some nasty comments too yeah that's never a good thing did no. you get your sewing machine working don's asking yes yes i did and yes it was pretty much that was it one the thread that i had bought when she told me to do a brake test on it it broke really easy compared to what I had been using. But when I put it up in the bobbin, it worked fine. I still stopped using it after I did most of this because I was worried it would come, it would break when it's being used. Good. <laughs> I'm hugging the fabric. Doesn't everybody hug their fabric? Well, yeah, isn't that what it's there for is for us to snuggle with? Love it and pet it and take it home with us. I, don't, I was watching something. I was watching something the other, the other night about how to pick the colours that you want that go with things, and they suggested going to um, like the DIY paint store and picking up the cards because the cards have got all the different colours that go with that main colour to. So it's all sorted out for you. And you can just go in and pick these cards up for free. You and said I'm like, that. I can't remember what it was, but I thought that was brilliant. Yeah, that is interesting. Yeah. It's also good to buy those little, they have like a paint, a bunch of paint block things that are on a ring. You mm. can buy one of those and use that, that to help you figure out your colors okay. too. Squeezably soft. Yes, that's exactly what you want fabric to be. Huggable and soft and yeah. Don, yes, that did work what you said about putting it on the on a bobbin and sticking it up there. It did work. These little ones aren't very cuddly. No, they're not really cuddly until they get put into a quilt, Sylvia. Mm, you can't really cuddle them, can you? You can try. Not for a little while. But you'll get there. It may look Mine is cuddly. Yeah, that is I'm thinking cuddly, I yeah. want to make a bigger one of these and make it into a hug like you made, Sylvia. Yeah. That would be very cuddly. Warm. Did I send you the link for the pattern for that hog? You did. I do have yeah. it saved. I was going to say, where did I put it? Yes, I saved it. Yeah. And I literally, in case you missed it, I copied uh, Laura Lynn's pattern that she did. Mm. Plagiarism. And started with the five inch piece. Huh. Very unprofessional. <laughs> yes, very unprofessional, but I never claimed to be a pro. I'm an amateur sewer. I know. Get I think I actually it. say that every time I get in front of the camera. No yeah. Problem. So no this problem. is mine. And I just, I had a piece of Lori Holt, a five inch piece. And the rest of that is off of a Robert Kaufman jelly roll that I had. And I, now that I've made one and I have the concept, I think I want to play with it some more. But I'm going to free motion quilt this one. That's very similar to, uh, it's got little tiny dots on it. I don't think you can see them. Yeah. Is that a white or a blue? It's a white. Uh huh. Yeah, with little tiny dots on. Mine's a light blue with little white dots on it. So mm. very kind yeah. of a light grayish blue. I didn't even realize my nail polish matches my or coordinates with my little jelly roll. It does. Yeah. Thank you, Stephanie. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's my short earlier at lunch was, uh, you know, imitation is the best form of flattery. And I definitely imitated Laura Lynn on that one. I like it. And I'm going to play with it some more. I was looking uh, for something to do fast. You see, like Those cone, cone 
Bedford. So I, I, I've put mine in a big I old, a old ch- Oh, that's a good chicken. idea. And it just comes out of where the straw would be. I have a yarn holder that looks just like that. It's, it's a screw on lead with a hole in the top for the yeah. that would work. But this thread. So get you a cup at Dollar Tree. Or just take a lid off of plastic. Well, I was using a coffee cup and it was working fine until this thread. <laughs> but this thread, you probably won't be able to see it. Thank this you, one that was Stephanie. Good. But this, ah, doggone it. These three threads, this one is the Maxi Lock, this is Sherlock. And this is Omni. So I took the threads. Find out where I'm going. I took the threads and I broke them. And what I noticed is this breaks the easiest. So it makes sense that it's breaking on my machine. This one I know better than to try to break it, so I'm not going to. It was very hard. It hurt my hand. Lock serger thread it, is lighter weight than regular sewing thread. Well, and Tracy made a good point because there are so many of them to go together. When you use a serger, it makes them stronger. Yeah. Duh. I did not cross my mind for a second. What are you saying, Sylvia? This this one's a polyester thread, and it says 120. So I presume that's the weight, and 500. Oh, sorry, 5,000 yards on the, but it's, I mean, it's quite, it's quite, I can't pull it and break, snap it. Yeah. So it's quite a strong. I have a ton like, of circular thread, but I bought, back when I thought you had to have four spools of all the colors, and they ran like 50 cents or something a spool, so you know how long I've been doing this. Mm. I bought four blue, four pink, four gray, four red, you know, four of all the colors. And then I learned that it actually blended better if you mixed up, I think it's gray, black, white, and a rose color. It Mm. blends better into most fabrics. So I haven't used all those colors. I tend to use white and gray, Um, occasionally black, but no, more often than not, it's white and gray. I try to match the colors to what I'm doing, or it's going to be uh, off white. But this has that teal, it's the maxi lock, it's still in the bobbin. It seems to be working good. This one up here is Missouri Stars thread, it's ivory, they're all polyester. It's just what I like to use. I don't know. We're not having issues with it. No issues at all, thankfully. Um, yo, Patty G, you use Coates and Clark from Joann's? You have better luck from that? I've heard people who are like, oh, I only use Orofil or Guterman. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm not buying $35 spools of thread. Sorry, guys. Mm. The Coates and Clark, although it says for the, the Minky, they suggest Mettler polyester threads which is what I got because I didn't want to spend all that money and then mess it up I had some Coates and Clark brown polyester thread worked fine I didn't have any breaking I didn't have any skip stitches and it worked just fine well sometimes it comes down to your machine but Mm. sometimes I not always but sometimes I feel like they push certain brands some people do because that's who they're sponsored by or whatever Mm -hmm. um and i'm kind of you know let me find the cheapest option that does this well yeah i'm frugal like that (laughs) practical well you know you have to live within your means and if your means are the are the borophils and all that and i try to do the by the yard price my calculator out because my mind isn't going to do all that math that quickly I, I can't remember what I figured out. Left over from my mom, and it's actually on the chopping block for when we get ready to move. But instead of just throwing it out, I'm trying to use it up before we move. 
but it's not making the move to Ohio because it's already 20 years old. My mom's mm -hmm. been gone 18 years and I know she didn't sew for at least the last two. So it's thread that's at least 20 years old. It's probably earned retirement by this point. <laughs> but uh, so I'm trying to use it up. If I don't use it, then it'll go in the garbage. But I want to use it if I can. Would there, would there not be a school or anything that would take it? Um, yeah, there might be. Uh, by garbage, I don't necessarily mean it's going to the dump. I just mean it's not going with me. Hmm because I do plan on donating quite a bit of stuff to um, the local high school's art department and all of that. They don't go back to school until the 9th of January. So I have a few days to go through and create some bags or boxes or whatever to send to them. You know, I was just talking about donating all that yarn I had because I hadn't knitted in so long, except for cotton or um, I think it's called I don't know. I'm not even going to try to say it. Some other kind of yarn that's kind of plasticky, but it's very good scrubby yarn. Yeah. I was going to donate all my other yarns. And then my son calls after him, his girlfriend come by and is like, Mom, well, actually, he texted me, Can you make baby girl a hat? Yes, I can make baby girl a hat. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, exactly, yeah. Stephanie. And I've, I see the um, Tracy, yeah. I have been putting it in bobbins a lot because I figure if I'm using newer thread on the top and it's in the bobbin, it shouldn't be so prone to breakage. Mm -hmm. And I'm using it a lot for free motion quilting stuff. Um, that's the biggest part of it. Um, because if my free motion quilting comes out, at least the quilt's still good. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So you've been sewing with, is that a brand name, Dawn? I think it is, but I wanted to make sure. And is are those the ones that are like humongously large? That are like they need a bowl <laughs> or a batter bowl to sit in. I love the serpentine stitch. Ooh, Very pretty. Thinking. That looks great on the back of that. made by and that's a just a sheet hey i like it i think it feels very summery though sheets are on sale at walmart guys sheets are on sale at walmart if you're if you use sheets on your beds as backing for quilts anything twin size sheets up to king size sheets i got i don't think i ordered it pioneer woman up queen or king size like bed in a bag or on sale for $25. They must be clearancing them out. But definitely go check that out at Walmart because the fabrics are really pretty trendy colors. And even if you don't like the bedspread or whatever, the sheets are um, a great buy for using for fabric or backings. I'm, I'm laughing at that comment don't put on because it's made by A&E. Well, in it, here we call any &E accident an emergency yeah and there's a channel a tv channel called a and e thinking about it. stephanie had said that find what works for your machine and budget and it's exactly budget, no matter what anyone says well, exactly yeah. as long as it works on your quilt and your project that's right. what matters and i mean i'm not making heirloom quilts that i expect to last outlast everyone and everything. I'm not. Most of the people I give these to, they're gonna use them like they would anything else. And that's what I expect. My son told me last night, after he had asked about the hat, he actually called and he's like, mom, that blanket you made me, the quilt with the Lord of the Rings and the Lux cuddle on the back is the perfect movie night on the couch blanket. <laughs> His girlfriend loves it. And I was like, yay, win. I don't know if y'all have grown children. I don't get a lot of compliments. Ah, I think everybody here has grown kids. <laughs> yeah. They don't always say, yeah, that's awesome, mom. You know, it's awesome because they're smiling. They're thanking, you know. 
I, whenever I give baby quilts, I always tell the moms, I don't want this hanging over the edge of the crib for pretty. I want to see this quilt thrown on the floor with the baby and the dogs wrestling on it or tossed on the ground for the baby to sit on at the picnic or, you know, I, I want it to be used. If you want a pretty quilt for later, come back when the baby's five or six years old and has worn this one out. I said, that's how you get me to make you another quilt. That's what I told my son. I if said, if this one works out, it, I'll get you another one. Yeah. Yeah, if he wears out his, his minky cuddle quilt, you don't care. You'll make him another. Mm -hmm. that right Stephanie, now you have a great weekend. I hope your Georgia retreat goes well, and we'll be looking for videos from you. Have I'm fun. at the retreat. Yes, I'm definitely have fun. And I will probably be at bed New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are... Oh, I'll definitely be in bed New Year's. I'll never stay up for it. I and we usually make it just barely to midnight and then we're done. And at like quarter after midnight, his girls are calling or texting and we're already going, huh? Who's calling this late? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll turn the, turn the volume off on everything and that's it. I'll go to sleep. And, if, uh, and then in the morning, I'll check all the messages that have come through. Yeah. And greet them. Okay, we have been on for a little over an hour, and I know that it's getting very late for Sylvia, if not I'm for both of us. Huh? But I'm sewing. You can sew. You can still sew off camera. You're allowed. <gasps> oh Just God. because you're a YouTuber doesn't mean that you have to do all your sewing on camera. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> this is brand new information. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> It yes. feels like it sometimes, doesn't it? You start Much sewing and it's like, oh, I got to film this. Yeah. Why do I have to film everything? Oh, yeah. that's, why a lot, that's why a lot of shorts just have the end picture. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to show all the errors in between like I do? No, oh. want to see what you think you want to see. No, you start sewing and then you forget that you haven't taken a picture or you're, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for having us. Oh, that's not well. Good. Let me make sure we put links in for you. And I just misspelled Sylvia's name. That's all right. I'm used to my name being spelled for funny. Well, you're used to yours being spelled funny, and Colleen's used to hers being said wrong. Every time somebody says Colleen, I answer to it because I've always been called Colleen. Well, when I was when I was nursing, you always have to put the name of the staff that were on duty that day up on the board so that everybody knew was you know when anybody came in or whatever they knew who was on i'd get sylvia saliva slivia sylvester i'd get everything rather oh my gosh <laughs> So I've got Tracy, let's see, I got Sylvia, Colleen, Tracy, big guy, Kelly. Thank you. Trying to make sure I've got everybody in here. Dawn. Super. Did you get super? Oh, we've got her earlier. Don't be greedy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just trying to make sure everybody's in there. Oh, thank you, and I appreciate it. Hey, yeah. I can put Lee. Then too, I do know how sometimes. So sometimes talented. I had to learn from Colleen. Copy and paste, people. Copy and paste. Hey, it works. I think that's where all my links come from was your copy and paste. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, I need to check and make sure that mine work. Did I make my own? Did I get everybody? Colleen's check. I was for oh, me. you're welcome, big guy. I do need to fix them. I saw that look on your face. What? Thank you, Don. All right, guys. I'm going to say goodbye, and I'm going to, again, thank Sylvia and Colleen for visiting with me. It's always fun here. It's always fun with them here. For sure.
And I'm we tired didn't of having do them all together. What? And we didn't do the wonky donkey. I didn't say it. No, we Still didn't do it. To be very naughty. I'm being very naughty. Wonky donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, now that she's mm. killing me, <laughs> y'all have a great day. Thank you for coming. Bye for now. <laughs> Bye.